What's up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 video and today y'all, we're gonna be doing the every room is a different occult in The Sims 3. So I went ahead and I built the house off camera and I love how this one turned out y'all. It's a colonial style house and I really love it so much. I used these little roof pieces from the now and then Century Manor set on the store and it's like the best thing ever y'all, like this looks so good. <laughs> now I feel like this house looks a lot bigger than it actually is because when you open it up, it's only like a two story house. So upstairs, I'm thinking that we could maybe make this room into an office space. Maybe this one could be a bedroom or something like that. When we go downstairs, I think I'm going to make this a living room or something, or maybe this could be the living room. I haven't really decided just yet. We have a bathroom and then we'll have a kitchen. So the house isn't really that big by any means. Now, because this is a challenge and it might end up looking kind of strange, I am going to release the empty version of this house. If you just want to download it, maybe furnish it, maybe play around with it. I'm going to leave the empty version linked down below as well as the finished product linked down below as well. So why don't we go ahead y'all and spin for the first room. All right y'all so I have my will. Let's just go ahead and spin. Can it just please be something good? Like I don't know maybe like a uh, zombie or something or alien for the first room. What do we get y'all? Werewolf. Okay, so the first room of the house has to be for a werewolf. Okay, so I think we're gonna maybe just start here, you know? <laughs> so this has to be werewolf themed, right? So I'm thinking we're gonna have to use a lot of supernatural and maybe we could try to like make this room look a little bit run down or something like that. I'm really liking this floor from the pets pack, but I think what I might do y'all is we'll go into create a style and I think I might just change the pattern on it to make it look a little bit more distressed. Like, oh my gosh, y'all like, look at that. It looks like a werewolf was just scratching it up and I just, you know, <laughs> and I don't really know how I feel about it, but I think we'll use this. I also thought about it too, y'all. I need to get some by debug lights because it's kind of dark in here and I need to be able to see. Okay, y'all. So I think I have the floor in the wallpaper like I like it. So I tried to go for some really distressed looking floor down here. It has like scratches and scuffs. Also for the wallpaper, I had to go and use like a metal design and uh, it kind of looks like it's bullet holes in the wall, but maybe we'll just say like a werewolf was punching or biting at the wall or something like that. It looks very bad in here, I gotta say. <laughs> like, this is not looking good, but I am pleased with it. I'm going to use a couple of these ceiling lamps right here because I think they look kind of cool. Does it really fit in with a werewolf? I don't really know. To be fair though, Supernatural doesn't really have a lot of like werewolf objects in my opinion. Like we have a couple, but there's not like a whole lot. So we're going to have to just kind of improvise a little bit. Maybe I could try to make these look a little bit more scuffed up. Ooh, I like this one. You know what? Maybe we can make this a little bit darker. It's kind of hard to see, but I think I'm going to make this one a little bit darker just to kind of make it look rustic looking, you know? So next up, I want to get a fireplace in this little nook area. I'm thinking to use this one. I like the stone on this one. It kind of gives me a werewolf vibe, but I think I want to maybe change the color of it. Now, when it comes to actual furniture, like I said earlier, we don't really have a lot of werewolf furniture in the game. I do have this rundown looking couch. However, we could use this. I feel like this kind of fits in with the vibe. So I might just use this y'all. And then I could probably pair it with this chair from university. These kind of look like they came from the same set in a way. So we're going to have to maybe just use this. I think I might use two of these. However, I think I'm going to have two of these maybe in front of each other like this. I'm going to use this rug from Supernatural. And I want to see if I could find a kind of like an older looking coffee table. Maybe one that looks a little bit run down. Maybe one like this will be kind of cool. So this is from the pets pack and it kind of looks run down too. Now, as for this rug, rug i think we have some distressed looking fabrics yes i'm so glad we have this y'all the creative style tool is coming in clutch today y'all this is really starting to come together i love the fact that we have a creative style tool because i can apply these distressed looking textures on the couch and it just looks so good in my opinion maybe this other couch won't have it maybe the idea is that they just kind of got different pieces of furniture and put it together i'm gonna also use this lamp over here in the corner so next up i want to get some curtains and i think i'm gonna use the ones from movie stuff only because they look tattered and then maybe we could try to get some art maybe this poster of a werewolf is that doing too much that might be doing a little bit too much y'all maybe no werewolf poster but i want to look and see if there's any rundown looking pictures or like scary looking pictures or anything like that that we could maybe try to put up i don't know anything that looks kind of older and classic maybe like one of these little pictures i could put up on the wall oh there's one of these now i know in the sims 4 there's actually one that is a werewolf but i don't think that sims 3 has one of those let me just sort by supernatural really quick just to see uh i think that's a fairy I think that's a skeleton. I don't think we have one for werewolves, unfortunately, but maybe we could put up like one of these pictures in here somewhere. Ooh, actually having this there would be kind of cool, but I don't know. Maybe we'll put it like on one of these other walls. Maybe I could have that be right there by the bookshelf and then we could have one of these like circular ones. I'm going to also use one of these gem cutting machines in here as well, because if you didn't know, werewolves can actually find good collectibles in the game. So I feel like having one of these would kind of be on par, you know, I think I'm going to have it look a little bit more rustic though. So we're going to just recolor it a little bit. All right, y'all. Well, that's pretty much it for the werewolf room i really like how this one turned 
turned out so let's go ahead and maybe move on to this bathroom all right let's go ahead and spin for it again y'all can it be something good like i don't know fairy or something what are we gonna get what are we gonna get a zombie bathroom so i think what i'm gonna do is maybe try to make this look really run down and very like just disgusting which kind of makes sense i guess because it could complement the werewolf you know living room so you know maybe the werewolves just don't really take care of the bathroom and it looks like a zombie was in there or something or it looks like it was in a zombie apocalypse i don't know but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go over to the tile section and Ooh, we could maybe start with this one okay we'll start with this tile from the base game i want to see if there's a way where i can make this look a little bit worse <laughs> so we could Ooh, yes maybe something like this we'll get this and maybe we could make it into a lighter color i'm thinking like an orangey color like this yeah i'm thinking we could do something kind of like this y'all to make the bathroom look really old and just run down and very a zombie apocalypse-esque you know and then as for the wallpaper ooh, should we do tile in here i guess we could do tile i'm gonna go for a tile like this and then what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make this logo very run down so we're gonna go over to the paint category and see if there's any distressed looking paints Ooh, maybe something like this it looks like it's cracks in the wall Ooh, well i don't know do i like this hmm i don't know if i like that one maybe we'll keep looking there is this really nasty looking wallpaper i think i'm gonna use this one and then as for the tile at the bottom maybe i could just copy this tile to the bottom part so it can kind of match it Ooh, y'all wait <laughs> I wasn't thinking, wait, 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 should I make this the top or the bottom? It could be like a cinder block bathroom. Maybe we'll just have it be in a slightly different color though. Next up, I'm going to use this tub over here. And then as for the toilet, I guess we could get like one of these older looking ones. Again, I'm going to have to like recolor them. So it's not really going to matter, but we can have a toilet maybe be, uh, maybe on this wall right here. And then as for the counters, I think I want to use these and then I want to maybe get a sink in the middle. Ooh, you know what I could do y'all? Maybe we could try to get like three of these mirrors in here i mean they're like the only broken mirror that i have in my game but we could maybe get a couple of these right i don't know if they come in different swatches or not i mean they kind of do but it doesn't really matter we're just gonna have to improvise today but i think i'm gonna maybe make these a darker color kind of like this we could maybe make the metal on top of it look really run down Ooh, yes i'm liking this so far y'all and then maybe the wood could look a little bit more distressed too oh yes this is what i want y'all this is starting to come together now so since this is like a zombie apocalypse bathroom maybe we could have like some first aid bottles or something like that just kind of laying around maybe you might need those in a zombie apocalypse you never know and we could maybe just have like a mystery jar or something i don't know what that is but we'll just have that over there maybe they use that for like a cure or something i don't know but that's that's pretty much it though for the bathroom y'all it's not like the best looking bathroom of all time like it's giving like a resident evil vibe and i don't really know how i feel about that but let's just go ahead and move on to this room so i'm thinking maybe this one could be like a den or something like that i might be able to put in some like recreational objects i don't know before we do any of that though let's just go ahead and roll for the next room all right so we got like werewolves and zombies so far maybe we'll get something nice like fairy or something like that a plum bot so since we have a room for a plum bot maybe we could make this into like a robot workshop kind of but it'll be nice though okay i'm thinking to maybe make this one look a little bit more futuristic looking because it is going to be from into the future after all so we should probably start off with the wallpaper Ooh, i think i want to go for this one y'all it looks very futuristic and i like this one a lot we can maybe do white and maybe we can make the blue a little bit darker so it can stand out a little bit more now as for the floor i'm thinking tile i know there's a really good tile that comes with late night yeah i'm thinking to use this one but maybe just make it a little bit lighter Ooh, it looks like a laboratory in here honestly so since this is a plum bot room we're gonna have to use a lot of into the future so the first thing that i want to get is this right here this is the bot workshop i think i'm gonna have this one ew, maybe in the corner or maybe alongside this wall it's such a big object that it takes up so much space but we could try to squeeze it back here maybe with a little bit to move objects i do want to maybe try to make this look more like a room and not just like a workshop i think i want to put maybe one of these like end tables somewhere maybe in the corner i could have like an end table back here right and then we could get a couple of chairs that come with the pack Ooh, like these we could try to turn these at an angle we could use these nice lights that come with the pack as well oh we could put like this little plant up maybe like over here on this end table we could try to use this rug right there and then maybe i'll recolor it a little bit i think i want to put this mirror up against this wall i want to see if there's any like little 
decor that I could just kind of place down. Let's turn back on move objects for a second. We could place like a couple of these like on the ground. We could use a bookshelf maybe over here on this wall. Well, there is this really big bookshelf. Um, I could have had that be on that wall right there. I really do like this bookshelf being here on this wall, but I kind of want it to have like a small table in here somewhere. Let's see if we could get a table first. I could put this one here and just get a couple chairs around it. Maybe it doesn't have to be for eating, but it could just be like a nice table or something that you could just have. I want to see if there's any other pieces of artwork that I could put up. I could use like one of these these are like futuristic pieces of art we could put like one over there on that wall maybe we can have like another one or something back here on this wall all right y'all well i think that's pretty much all i could do for this room let's go ahead and move on to the kitchen so can it be something good like i don't know alien or something genie maybe imaginary friend okay an imaginary friend kitchen that is really doable so what i'm thinking we could do y'all is to make this one like super bright and super colorful i think we could use these countertops in here we'll have some be at an angle we could maybe just use this supernatural fridge in here and then we'll maybe use the supernatural stove as well we'll use some matching upper cabinets which i think are these i want to say okay y'all so it took me a while but this is how the counters and the cabinets are going to look i know it's very bright and colorful but that's just what we got to deal with so when it comes to the wallpaper i think i'm going to start out simple but i think i'm going to put like some kit designs on it so if you didn't know you have to get imaginary friends through your children in the game so if you have a kid in the game there's a 50 50 percent chance that they will have an imaginary friend when they're born so i think we could kind of maybe try to play into that Ooh, y'all i was gonna do like stars in here and just make them like a different color oh that's kind of cute actually wait i might actually go for that i don't know wait <laughs> i might go for this one y'all or i was thinking to maybe just use this and just do a different color oh i like this one too maybe we can do like half and a half right maybe we can have this be like most of the walls and then we'll have this one be like an accent wall y'all this kitchen is looking really um good right <laughs> really nice i like it so far okay we're gonna need a couple of sinks in here as well i think what we could do is maybe just use like maybe one of these and we'll just recolor it we'll have maybe one here well maybe we could just have it be right there maybe that might make more sense to have it there we'll get like some nice appliances like we'll use the one from supernatural we're gonna recolor that oh a chocolate fountain could be kind of cute we can have that in a corner because why not i never use that object so when it comes to the floor i think i want to use tile down here i think i'm going to use this floor down here and then as for a table we need like a pretty big sized one huh y'all we could get like this little tea set that would be kind of cute and then maybe we could use this table in here too y'all i really want to use these chairs yes these chairs come from generations by the way and i kind of want to maybe try to use them again for this i don't know if these are going to fit yeah i just need like two and then maybe last but not least i could try to get a nice picture on the wall maybe like this one right here <laughs> and then last but not least to kind of finish off this room i think i'm just gonna get a light we could maybe just use this one all right y'all i think we're pretty much done with this room though let's go ahead and move on to the next one so this is going to be like a study or like a little home office or something like that so let's go ahead and spin for this one let's hope it's something good maybe like vampire or something like that oh it's fairy okay we can have like a fairy office okay we could definitely do something like that i think i'm gonna go for this stone pattern with the moss that's coming outside of it oh y'all this is gonna be really nice okay y'all so i think i'm gonna go for something like this for the wallpaper and the floor now i know y'all like cj how is this fairy themed a fairy related it's not really giving just bear with me it will okay this is gonna be like an ancient fairy like ruin or tomb or something like that very like old if that makes sense so next up i'm gonna get a couple of these lamps we could maybe put them here in the entrance way i do want to get a desk i'm gonna probably put that like right here in the middle somewhere i can also get one of these lunar horoscope items i might put that in a corner back there for right now Ooh, we could also get one of these clocks maybe i might put that here for a second i also want to get a fairy house somewhere too i wish we had like a bigger room you know <laughs> but i'm gonna put that there and i'm gonna see if i could try to get a desk to go like right here somewhere i really like the desk it really looks handmade you know y'all this is turning out so good i love this so far all right i want to see if we could try to get some fairy like artwork or something on the wall so i'm gonna go back to supernatural and we're gonna look and see i think this is a fairy i want to say we could have this picture be back here i'm gonna replace that grandfather clock with one of these chairs maybe i can get like another one of these somewhere Ooh, kind of run out of space maybe i could just put this in the corner then have like this one be like here somewhere 
somewhere kind of like that i want to see if i could try to get some more artwork too we could maybe get one of these all right y'all so we're pretty much done with this room i know it's a little bit different but i do like it a lot it's very unique you know <laughs> so why don't we just go ahead and move on to the last room so let's go ahead and spin for this one all right let's hope it's something good what if we get mummy or something y'all like i don't know oh we finally got the alien bedroom so i think we're gonna have to use maybe some into the future for this one i think i'm gonna use that pod bed like this one right here that's very much given an alien vibe you know we could also use this dresser in here as well i'm gonna replace the door that's here with the one from lunar lakes because that kind of gives off an alien vibe too and i want to see if i could try to get that nice piece of artwork that comes with lunar lakes it's like an alien kind of like picture i want to see if i could try to put that in here somewhere i think i want to put that maybe over the dresser like that we could use this little alien picture too this one comes from university i kind of want to put that in here somewhere I, I think i might just make the outline a maybe like a darker blue color like that kind of when it comes to the nightstands i might just end up using the same ones from into the future or no i could use this little futuristic one these are from late night and i never get a chance to use these for anything Ooh, you know what maybe we'll use this one speaking of showtime showtime does come with a couple of these wall pieces right these are supposed to be used for your like your stages and stuff like that for showtime shows but i do kind of like it maybe i might try to squeeze some of these back here somewhere maybe it's kind of like a nice little headboard or something like that Ooh, this little column could go in the corner there's also whatever this is that could go somewhere in here maybe now as for the wallpaper i'm probably just going to use one of these in here Ooh, maybe honestly this one that's kind of cool i think i'm going to use one of the chairs from the high-end loft stuff i'm just going to put that maybe over here in the corner maybe i can have like another one over here in the corner you know what maybe i could put one of these up on this wall over here maybe in the middle like that and then last but not least i want to get a light in here i think i'm gonna also use the one from the high-end loft stuff this one kind of looks kind of futuristic but you know what y'all i think on that note i'm pretty much done with the whole entire build we'll look over it one more time before we leave so when you come in y'all you have your werewolf living room this looks super nice like i mean it's kind of run down but it looks nice enough you know <laughs> moving on over this way though we have our zombie bathroom which looks very run down i gotta say though i am kind of happy that these two kind of got paired up in the same space because it looks like it could kind of fit in you know moving on on over this way we have our plumbot den space workshop space i don't really know what you'll call this maybe like a little walkthrough area over here we have our imaginary friend kitchen which looks very colorful and then upstairs we have our fairy study which looks super nice y'all like i really love this hallway <laughs> it's very different too and then over here we have our alien bedroom which i really love a lot y'all so i'm gonna leave this build link down below if you want to check it out y'all but that's all that i have for this video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching